Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Alma. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I wanna thank everybody that has been subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. Don't forget to share and like. Thank you guys so much. Today I will be doing a tutorial of this look that I got by using this palette that I bought on TikTok. This is by JC Cosmetics. If you'd like to see how I did it, then keep on watching and I'll see you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, everybody. So I would like to start off by saying thank you to everybody that has been subscribing to my channel. I am so happy to see this, my channel grow. And I'm very, very excited for what's to come because I have so many ideas in my head, so many plans for my future and all that stuff. And yes, thank you so much. Hey everybody, so I don't have any moisturizer. I'm about to put that on. There you go. I'm gonna use my La Roche Posay and of course I gotta take my glasses off. Okay, so I already moisturized my skin and I'm gonna go in with the MAC Fix Plus to prep my skin before my foundation. And of course, I have my coffee here with me. It's almost noonish, so I'm getting ready to go to the mall. I'm gonna take Lily for a little walk and hang out, but cheers to everybody who's drinking coffee or whatever it is that you're drinking. Cheers. Okay, so the foundation I will be using today, I pulled out this one is the L'Oreal True Match. So check it out. I was thinking of going to the Mac store because I heard they came up with that serum foundation thingy. I want to go check it out. I think it's serum. I don't know. So I'm going to put some in the back of my hand like this and I'm going to pick up my brush. I'm going to be using the Buffing Foundation by e.l.f. I'm going to pick that up and apply it on my face. Yeah, I want to go to the Mac store just to check it out. So... Here's what I do when I want to, when I want something. I go check it out at the store. Sometimes I'll buy it at the store, but I think it's better to buy it online. Like for example, the Mac Cosmetics. You could do payments. <laughs> you could order like up to two hundred dollars and make payments on it. I do that, and I also like that they give you like little free gifts online and stuff. So. I don't know, that's just me. When I see little deals, like you get a free whatever, lipstick, I don't know. I just jump on it. Not always, but sometimes. Usually that's what I look for though. This foundation is very liquidy. That's why I'm applying it with my brush because I feel like with with a sponge it would soak up the product so but I, I like how this foundation is honestly okay so now I'm gonna pull out my concealer this one's by L'Oreal it's the infallible full wear concealer it's really good I love this concealer the applicator is huge so a little goes a long way and I put some on my lids, on the corners, a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, chin, upper lip. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques brush, this one right here. A tad bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up the Laura Laura Mercier powder, and with my sponge, I'm gonna pick some up. I'm gonna dab it on the back of the lid or inner lid. Okay, and place it on my lids, from the lid to my lid.
okay and now i'm ready for my eyeshadow and today i wanted to use this eyeshadow i've been on my tiktok shop oh my god that gets me all the time it's so dangerous um and i was looking through this person's uh i keep going through other people's like you know people that sell their makeup or you know makeup beauty products and stuff like that and i discovered this one and the reason why i picked this one it's by JC Cosmetics. It's 30 color eyeshadow palette. And I just remember I was supposed to do this video in Spanish. <laughs> it's to celebrate uh, Mexican Independence Day for the September, you know, September celebration. Pero ni modo, ya empecé en inglés el video. It's okay though. The reason why I picked it is because it has all the the names of the states of Mexico on it. And I thought that was so cool. See? I thought that was so cool. I'm like, yo, I'm going to get this palette, this specific palette. She had other ones that were really cute too. But I was like, you know what? This one has the, I like the neutral colors and they're bright. And then they've got glitters. And yeah, so I was like, I want to try this one really bad because it is, you know, September, the Mexican Independence Day, and I am a Mexican, so I'm like, let's try it. Get this little fluffy brush. Okay, I'm staring at the colors. I'm like, okay, what look am I going to do today? Um, I'm going to go in with, they're all so good, people. Um, Oaxaca, this one right here. Okay, so... Sorry, to start off, this palette's called Amor a la Mexicana. So cute. Okay, so, and then obviously the inside has the Mexican state names. So I'm going to start off with, I said Oaxaca, right? This one right here. So I have a white shirt on today. I think it'll go with anything. So right when I pick up the color, it goes onto my brush. So that's good. Let's see how it looks on my lid. I'm just going to start off really slow and swirl it in. Okay, cool. Get some more. Oh, yeah, I did my eyebrows already, obviously. Okay, so I like the way it's going on my lid pretty much. It's like really smooth and I like the way it's blending. Trying to see the mirror, I'm sorry. I wanna pull it out a little bit out here. I like it. Let me swatch a couple colors. I'm going to swatch Yucatan, Chiapas, and Durango. Okay. I'm going to swatch it on my wrist. Wow, dude. That's good. That is so good. Pretty, huh? Okay, let's continue. Get more of Oaxaca and place. Well, I think that's good enough. It's so hard for me to see. Like I said, I'm so blind. So I'm like, wait, do I have enough color on my skin, on my face? Okay, so now I'm going to do the other eye. I'll be right back. Okay, me gusta. Como se ve el color? Me gusta como aplico el color a mis ojos. So vamos a continuar. I have to throw it in there. Okay, I'm going to get a more pointier brush like this one. This is by Equal Tools. It's called Tapered Blending Brush. I'm going to get this color right here, Nuevo Leon. Or no, let's get Quintana Roo, okay? It's a lighter brown. It's like a darker light brown in between or whatever. I'm going to use that one on the outer corner of my eyes. I'm just tapping it in because I want the outer corner to have a little more depth. So, you know, it shapes the eye.
few difference between this one and this one. I like it. Get some more and do the other eye. Yeah, baby. Okay, so now I got the color on both my lids. I decided to go in with Veracruz right now. I'm going to get Veracruz with this. This is a smudge brush. This one's my real techniques. I'm going to get Veracruz. It's like a plum color. Looks kind of purpley. And I'm going to use that little with the little brush on the outer corner to give it an even more depth into my eyes. And then I'm, I was planning to drag it down. Sorry, I forget. Okay, I'm going to get it back again. I'm going to get more and place it here. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up this stiff brush. It's like a short, tapered one. This one's by Sonia Kashik. Look how old my brush is. But I cherish them until the end. Until they can't do it no more. I just throw them out. Until they fall apart, pretty much. That's what I do. I just want to give it a little hint of purple. I'm going to pick up that color again with my brush just to give it more. And that color is just going to stay right here in the outer corner. So I was swatching the, the glitters and they're so beautiful, very hard to pick. Look, they're so pretty. I'm having a really hard time trying to decide what I'm going to use, but I think Colima is going to stand out really beautiful and maybe i could do this one or this one in my inner corner so i'm going to go in with colima and place it on the outer part of my lid like right about there what do you guys think it's pretty I open up my eye because I'm like, okay, can you see it if I had like my eyes open? Because I have hooded eyes. Okay, get some more of that and just keep packing it. I think that looks good. Now I'm just going to drag whatever's in my brush in like that. Oh my God, that looks really pretty. What do you guys think? Yay yeah, or nay? Okay, so there it is. That's how my eyes look right now. And I was looking at San Luis Potosí for my inner corner right here. San Luis Potosí. I feel like I know somebody from there. That is from there. And Colima too. I'm just picking it up with my pinky because I feel like it saves time. Wow, look at that. What do you guys think? Ah, it looks good. It looks really good. I think it looks really, really good, you guys. What do you guys think? This this eye makeup reminds me of like sunset, summer. It's bright, it's beautiful. Okay, so I just added my mascara to my lashes. I don't know if I want to do fake lashes today. I feel like it looks good like this. I know with the lashes it'll like boom like it'll it'll be way better but i don't feel like it okay so i'm gonna go in with this uh contour brush by real techniques it's like a little rounded brush i'm gonna take my makeup geek burnished okay and i'm gonna tap it in and i'm gonna lightly contour my face
Okay, now I'm going to take Makeup Geek Summer Fling. This one is really beautiful. It's like orangey, but, or coral. But it looks really good. This Mommy. brush is by MAC. Mommy. Mommy. Hmm. Okay, I'm removing my lip oil. So my blush is on. I powdered my face a little bit. And Mommy, yeah, no. let's do the lipstick. Oh my goodness, it's the lion. Oh, it's a wolf. I got Lily right next to me here. Okay, so I pulled out these two Smooth Whip by NYX. Um, I wanted to do dark because I feel like it'll, it'll look really good with the eyes. You know, the eyes are very vibrant and purple and, you know, like it has coral and gold and yellow. So I feel like one of these will look really good. Um, I got here, it's called chocolate mousse. And then the other one is fuzzy slippers. These slippers has like a red tint. Let's do this one, chocolate mousse. Let's try this one. Oh my God, I haven't even used it. <laughs> That's good. I'm gonna use it for the first time right now. Okay, and this completes my makeup look. Oh my God, I love it so much. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Oh my God, I don't have lipstick on my teeth, right? On um, one of my videos, I noticed that I had lipstick on my teeth and I cut some stuff out, like some footage, and I'm like, oh my God. Double check, lady. Okay, no, no, nothing on my teeth. Okay. I also feel like this will go really good on it. Oh, my God. But I feel like it's already a lot, you know, like the eyes is a lot. And then you got the bold lip. I feel like this will be too much. Unless I'm at, I'm going to a concert or like a late night event. That would be cool to put that on the, the lip gloss. But I'm so obsessed with this. I ordered two more. I can't wait to get it in. I know TikTok shop. I'm telling you, it's dangerous. I'm like that old lady watching QVC, buying everything. <laughs> That's me. Okay, so there it is, everybody. I love the way it came out. I can't wait to step out with this. It's so cool, very vibrant. I think this is a really cool, like, fall look. I don't know. I feel like it, it goes really well with the, you know, pumpkin spice season and all that stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Thank you, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, just do it. And thank you guys so much. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. And I have so much fun creating all these beautiful looks with you guys. And I love trying new things. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day.